Hey guys, so today I want to talk about Chaturanga. We're going to break down Chaturanga and we're going to make it less scary and less daunting. We're going to make it fun and easy, all right? There's two different ways to do Chaturanga. I'm going to show you both ways. You can try both. I urge you to try both and figure out what your body needs. So in Chaturanga, a lot is going to be happening. Not only are we using our shoulder and arm strength, we're using a lot of abdominal strength, probably more abdominal strength than anything else. So make sure you're engaging your obliques and your abdominal muscles completely, okay? That's gonna keep your hips from sinking low and I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Secondly, another thing you're gonna to wanna to be thinking about is the shoulder blades, okay? Sometimes, and this is a, a lot of my problem as well, when you're coming down to your chaturanga, your shoulders are gonna to wanna to cave in and forward and in order to keep that from happening, you're gonna to wanna to pull your shoulder blades back, back. It's almost like you're creating that plate. So here's your shoulder blades and you're pulling them together and you're creating this kind of like strength, like this steel plate in your back to keep your whole line nice and, and strong, okay? So I'll show you what I mean here. When you're lowering down through Chaturanga, you're engaging your shoulders here. So engage the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades in together. Now my abdominal muscles are engaged. I'm keeping them engaged so that my hips don't drop. This is a lot of the problem that I see with my students is the hips drop and then they lower down, hips come to the floor and then they lower down completely. What ends up happening when you drop your hips like that is you're losing a lot of the strength that you could be building in your abdominal muscles by keeping those engaged. And also what you'll find is that that really doesn't feel super great on your low back and you could end up kind of uh, permanently damaging your low spine if you don't take care of it during chaturanga. So let me go ahead and move through this again. So you've got your straight line, shoulders engaged, abdomen engaged, hips are staying in line with the shoulders and the heels of your feet, okay? So the heels of the feet are pressing back towards the back wall. You're gonna inhale and on your exhale, you're gonna come on your tippy toes and slowly lower down. The elbows are gonna squeeze in at the sides and you're gonna still maintain that same line, okay? Whew, it takes a lot of energy. But it, it's, it's really beneficial when you can get this right. If that's gonna to be too much for you, that's okay. There are other options to help you still gain strength and um, help you to get to the point where you're doing it um, fully like what I just showed you. So for the second option, we're gonna come up to plank, find your plank, and then you're just gonna drop the knees down to the mat, okay? You're gonna stay right here, and what's happening is you're still gonna engage the abdominal muscles. You're still gonna pull the shoulder blades together, but what you're gonna do, instead of lowering down in a straight line, your chest is gonna come slightly before the hips, okay? So engage the muscles, and when you're ready, exhale, lower down, squeeze the elbows in, chest first, then hips slightly after, and you're gonna inhale to up dog, press back to down dog. All right, so I think I hit all the key notes there. If you have any questions or if I left anything out, let me know in the comments below, and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, let me know what postures you wanna see. Have fun, you guys.